Discuss with your teachers about haploid insects in lower plants where cell division occurs. So students, we know that most of the multicellular organism that is higher organisms like plants and animals, they have diploid set of chromosomes, 2n chromosomes. So one set received from the father, one set received from the mother. So this condition we call it as diploid cells. But there are certain insects and plants which has got haploid number of chromosomes. That is, they have only one set of chromosomes and such a life cycle is called haplontic life cycle. So this kind of haplontic life cycle starts with a cell containing one set of chromosome in the adult body. So here the adult body has got one set of chromosome. Now this haploid cell undergoes mitosis. So mitosis is a equational division. So the daughter cells should receive only one set of chromosome. right? So it produces another haploid cell. So this haploid cell is a gamete. Now this haploid cell fuses with another gamete. So a male and a female gamete fuses together and this process we call fertilization. Now fertilization restores the chromosome number into diploid. So it started with haploid and now the zygote is diploid. Now this diploid zygote undergoes meiosis and produces haploid cells. Out of that one haploid cells degenerate. And the other haploid cells undergoes mitosis and develops into an embryo and this embryo develops into an adult. So all the cells in the adult will be haploid in condition. So such life cycles are called haploidic life cycle. So there is a haploid cells, it undergoes division and it continues its life cycle. So this life cycles are seen in insects and plants. But there are certain organisms which have got haploid cells but they do not undergo cell division. So students, in the first question, we learnt how certain insects and lower plants have haplontic life cycle. Now the second question is, some haploid cells in higher plants where cell division does not occur. So we need to discuss about the haploid cells in higher plants where cell division does not occur. So now we know what is an haploid cell. So haploid cells are represented by N. So they will have only one set of chromosomes. So for example, if the number of chromosomes in haploid set is 2, so n will be 2. So if it is diploid, then the same two chromosomes number will be 2 in copies. So we call it as diploid. So haploid is represented by n and here there are total two chromosomes in an organism. Now let's understand how polyploidy condition is obtained. So 2n represents it is diploid. So there are two sets of each chromosome. So if one set is 2, 2n will be multiplied by 2. 2 into 2 will in place of n will put the number of chromosomes. So 2 into 2 will become 4. So for triploid we will multiply 3n. So in place of n again put the value of n. So n is equal to 2. So 3 into 2 it becomes 6. For tetraploid it will be same. 4 into 2, 8. So likewise it goes on. So if the number increases, the copy of chromosomes increases, we call it as polyploidy. So polyploidy is a state in which cell contains multiple pair of chromosomes than the basic set. So here we saw the basic set is 1. They are haploid cells. So the basic set will be they should have one set of chromosome. If the cell divides and accumulates the chromosome, if the chromosome number increases, then we call it as a polyploid condition. So here same number of chromosome is increasing. So in the first cell, there were two chromosomes. Now in the second cell, there are two sets of chromosomes. In the third cell, there are three sets of chromosomes. In the fourth cell, it is four sets of chromosomes. So if the condition further increases, we call this as polyploidy. So they will have basic one set and this set keeps on multiplying. And this condition is called as polyploidy in which a cell contains multiple pairs of chromosomes. So 
in the horticulture lab polyploidic conditions can be included by a chemical called as colchinine now this chemical induces cell division without splitting the cell so it will induce a cell division and disturb the mitotic spindle so there dna synthesis takes place the genome gets doubled the chromosome number gets doubled but it fails to distribute among the daughter cells and remain within the single cell and hence the chromosome number increases so this leads to polyploidy so here are few examples for polyploidy plant in common wheat there are six and six sets of chromosomes so totally the chromosome number is 42 in tobacco they've got four sets of chromosomes so the number is 48 in potato again four set it is 48 so these are few examples